Thank you so much for that beautiful song. I was actually floating. Aren't we blessed? And I look at all of you and I say, this, this day today is a celebration. We're celebrating ourselves and each and every one of us. I mean, and yes, you can applaud yourself. It's okay. It's okay. And yes, we have to say thank you, Reverend Kimberly, for creating, for being the vessel to give this to us. That's how magnificent we are. That's how loved we are. She created this vessel. She's holding it for us to build this community. And there's many different communities. Last night, I was, um, I was in charge of a community. It was a, it was a business community. It was a wine walk with bands and music and all kinds of stuff. And um, I changed how I was greeting everyone. Change out. So I was studying and I was sharing this with Emmanuel a couple nights ago. I started studying a gentleman named Sean O'Leary. He's an Irish Catholic theologian that traveled the world to find out, to, to bring his message and find out what other people believed in. So he ended up in Africa and the small remote agricultural town where the homes were separate, far away from each other. And he was fascinated with how this community greeted each other. So let's see if I can remember. The greeting wasn't hello. It was Jemge, Jemge. So imagine going up and, and, and hearing Jemge. What it translated into is are you loving yourself? Do you love yourself? So instead of saying hello, I would walk up to you and say, do you love yourself, Jem Gay? And, and then, because they were holding each other accountable for who they were. This is how they operated. And then you would ask, you would go on and ask, okay, hold on, I got it. Translated, translated is, is your wife loving herself? Are your children loving her, their, themselves? Are the pigs loving themselves and the cows? So basically this community, remote community somewhere in Africa, was giving this theologian, the Irish Catholic theologian, Sean O'Leary, they were giving him a lesson that he in turn brought that around the world with him. He never forgot it. And it was, it's the sacredness of, of celebrating the magnificence of who we are. Always starts within ourselves and loving ourselves. The sacredness of who we are. Yes, yes thank you. The sacredness of who we are starts in ourselves, loving ourselves. So this morning I woke up. Did you ever wake up with a song in your head? Yes. The song that I woke up with, It's Good to Be Alive. So normally on Sunday morning, I do my meditation. I, I just take the time to be with me. It's a very sacred moment. Except this morning, I was bebopping around the house until I said, wait a minute. So the band that was playing last night had played that song, and my subconscious mind took a, took a latched it put it in there, kept it there. I was thinking, I went to sleep with that song in my head all night long. So by the time I woke up, I was already dancing and awake. I didn't even need coffee. Yeah, so this, but this shows us, this reminds us that when that song is in our head, which is a great thing, it's a great gift that we are given, that we can place whatever it is that we want because how we are greeting ourselves, how we are being greeted by the infinite is what's going on in our head. So if you wake up in the morning and you say, hmm, not feeling so good, guess how infinite spirit's gonna greet you? Hmm, not feeling so good, okay, there's some more of that. But if you wake up in the morning with that song already in your head, it's good to be alive, hallelujah, Guess what infinite force is bringing you? More reasons to buy, more reasons to celebrate. So I just, I just wanna thank everybody for being here and celebrating the one year anniversary 
here with us now, each other. So give yourselves that applause. You're all great and wonderful. And the word is jamge. You want to say the African word is jamge, and that means that means are you loving yourself? 